Hello guys, how are you all doing? I thought it would be fun today by making a comparison of these two amazing guitars. The Jet JS450 with the Harley Benton Fusion 3 HH. I know it's not uh, uh, the same model if you can say it like that because it's the HSS configuration with an HH. But uh, these two guitars cost 300 euros, roughly. This is 299, and this is, I believe, it's 307 euros on the Toman website. So I thought it would be fun to com compare specs on these two guitars and to see if we have a, a winner at the end. Uh, I like both guitars, so that's not really a, a winner for me. But maybe uh, you guys would like to see uh, how the specs compare to each other. And I have made a 24 point uh, spec sheet that we are going to compare with these two guitars. And let me just have a sip of, of beer here. First of all, the Jet guitar is made in China and the Harley Benson is made in Indonesia. So there's a little bit of a difference there. So let's go to the to the 24 point spec and I'm going to give a point for each guitar and let's see how it is in, in the end. I think that would be fun. The weight of the two guitars. This Jet guitar weighs 3.3 kilos and the Harley Benson weighs 3.5 kilos. So the Jet guitar is a little bit lighter and feels maybe feels a little bit better. Uh, so I'm going to give the first point to the jet guitar for the lighter weight. The next point is the headstock. And let me see if I can put both guitars down here. The headstock on the two guitars. Uh, first of all, the shape and uh, the color and such. Uh, you can see on the jet guitar it has a natural finish, matte finish, and on the Harley Benton it is uh, it, it has a matching color uh, to the to the body. And uh, shape-wise, I kind of like the uh, the jet guitar and also the the finish on the on the headstock. So the next point again goes to the to the jet guitar. Uh, then to the to the tuners, both guitars have locking tuners. Uh, the tuners on the Harley Benson are staggered tuners, so a little bit better there. And when you are tuning the two guitars, the tuners feels a little bit better tuning the guitar on the on the Harley Benson. So. I will give a, a point to the Harley Benson for the better tuners. The next is uh, string trees. Uh, I have changed the, the string trees on the Harley Benson. It came with uh, two roller string trees. And the Jet guitar came with uh, just one single normal string tree. I have then uh, put uh, one of the Harley Benson roller string trees on the Jet guitar. And I have put two uh, GraphTech uh, string trees on the Harley Benson, but but stock, the string trees on the Harley Benson are better than the than the Jet. So another point for the Harley Benson. Next one is the nut. The Jet guitar comes with a a bone nut, and the Harley Benson comes with a new bone nut. I'm not sure which is better, but uh, the knot on the on the jet guitar feels better because it's more rounded in the edges and maybe also a, a bone knot is better than a new bone knot. So the next point goes to the to the jet guitar for the bone knot and better feel on the knot. Uh, maybe I should say that both are 42 millimeters uh, in wide. Next one uh, is the frets. Let me put the guitars back up on the stands here. The Harley Benton comes with 22 uh, stainless steel blacksmith uh, frets. 
which is nonsense because uh, blacksmithing has nothing to do with with stainless steel so I find that kind of weird I'm a trained smith so I know what I'm talking about but the Harley Benton has 22 stainless steel frets and the jet guitar has just normal uh, nickel frets and uh, the frets on the Harley Benton feels a little better uh, they are smoother when when bending so another point for the Harley Benton uh, fret size I measured the the uh, frets on the on the two guitars and uh, the Harley Benton has medium jumbo frets it says nothing on the jet uh, website uh, what frets are on the on the jet guitar but uh, I measured the height and the height on the on the jet guitar is 1.1 millimeter and on the on the Harley Benton it's uh, 1.6 millimeters so they are a bit taller on the Harley Benton and uh, I like the kind of smaller frets on the on the jet guitar so there's another point for the for the jet guitar for the height of the frets or the fret size next uh, we have the uh, the uh, the fretboard the jet has a rosewood fretboard and the Harley Benton has an has an ebony fretboard and I kind of like uh, both so that's really uh, it's really hard to give a, a point on a, on a guitar there but the edges on the on the jet guitar is more rolled than the they are on the Harley Benton so for the fretboard I will give the jet guitar a point and uh, the fretboard radius on the jet guitar it is nine and a half inch radius and on the Harley Benton it is 12 inch so uh, a lot more flat radios on the Harley Benton and this is uh, simply a, a personal uh, taste and I kind of like the the nine and a half uh, radios on the on the jet guitar so another point for the jet guitar there it is having a lot of points right now this jet guitar and the fretboard inlays on the jet guitar we have perloid inlays looks quite nice and on the Harley Benson uh, we have uh, ivoroid inlays as it says uh, kind of looks like uh, clay inlays but uh, white inlays on the on the Harley Benson and perloid inlays on the on the jet guitar and I like the the perloid inlays the most they also kind of match the the perloid pickguard so another point for the jet guitar uh, next up uh, we are going to talk about the neck the jet guitar has a roasted maple neck with a satin finish and the Harley Benson has a, just a maple neck with a satin finish too so the, the finish is kind of the same but uh, I'm going to give an extra point for the roasted maple on the on the jet guitar there. So again, another point for the jet guitar. Uh, next up, uh, we're going to talk about. Oh, maybe we should talk about the uh, the shape of the neck. And they both have a modern C uh, neck, but the Harley Benson neck feels a little bit bigger uh, as well, but. This is still under the other point, so still one point for the for the jet guitar for the roasted maple neck. Then uh, we are going to talk about the truss rod, where you are adjusting the truss rod. On the jet guitar, it's on the headstock uh, as it normally is, but on the Harley Benton, it has this spoke wheel to adjust the truss rod, and I think that's a better solution. So another point for the Harley Benton for the spoke wheel truss rod adjustment uh, let's then talk about uh, the neck joint they are kind of similar on these two guitars uh, there's not a big block and they are a little bit uh, rounded as well as you can see but when you look at it uh, from the front I don't know if you can see it but on the Harley Benson it starts uh, it starts already on the on the 16th fret 
and uh, on the low side it uh, it starts on the 19 and a half fret but on the jet guitar uh, it starts on the 17th fret and and on the low side it's on the on the on the 20th fret so there's there's actually a lot more uh, uh, fret axis on the on the jet guitar so and also it is a bit more rounded on the edges so another point for the jet guitar for a, a better neck joint i'm going in the details here as as you can see uh, what should we talk about next the bodywood the Harley Benson has a Nayato body wood and the Jet Guitar has a basswood body. And uh, I kind of like uh, I kind of like uh, mahogany and uh, the Nayato is a bit closer to mahogany so I will give a, a point for the for the Harley Benson there. Uh, both guitars are 44 mm in thickness so that is the same. Then for the ergonomics on the body, another point for the jet guitar because it has an extra uh, cut out here for the high axis on the frets, and also the body is uh, body edges are also more rounded on the on the jet guitar. So another point for the jet guitar. Uh, next, let's let's talk about the binding on the two guitars. Uh, the Jet guitar has a kind of a cream plastic binding, and the Harley Benton has a revealed binding. So you can see the the Nayato wood, and I don't know. I kind of like this uh, look on the on the Harley Benton with the revealed binding. So even though uh, this probably should have a point for the extra plastic binding but i like the revealed binding on the harley benson so a point for the harley benson there uh, let's talk about the strap buttons uh, the jet guitar has these normal uh, strap buttons but the harley benson has uh, some bigger uh, strap buttons so uh, the strap don't fall off as easily as, as it does on the jet guitar. So another point for the Harley Benson there. Uh, then we should compare the back cavities. Uh, the jet guitar, the back plate is uh, sitting on top of the body. And on the Harley Benson, both uh, back uh, plates are recessed in the body so another point for the Harley Benson the Harley Benson is uh, gaining uh, gaining in on the on the jet guitar right now what next what's next the top well I don't think there's any doubt on which one is going to win here the jet guitar has a popular pearl top uh, veneer and the Harley Benson just has a plain black uh, top there which kind of look badass but I think it uh, it looks prettier on the on the jet guitar so another point for the for the jet guitar let's talk about the bridge on the two guitars they both have Wilkinson bridges uh, and both have uh, push in tremolos the uh, tremolo arms but I uh, I can't see which model it is on the on the jet guitar. It doesn't set says it on the on the website. But on the Harley Benson, it is the Wilkinson 52 uh, two point tremolo. They are both two point tremolos. But I think uh, the quality on the Harley Benson guitar is a little bit better than on the on the jet guitar. Both stay in tune because I have. Uh, only two springs on it and I have put on a set of 9 to 46 on both guitars and they stay in tune uh, just as well both of them but I think it's a little bit better quality on the Harley Benton also they both have uh, full block sizes uh, so not a difference there either 
But I think the bridge on the Harley Benton is a little bit better than on the on the Harley on the jet guitar. So another point for the Harley Benton. Let's talk about the pickups. Uh, on the Harley Benton, it is uh, two humbucker pickups. It is their uh, LAF pickups. Uh, El Nico 5s. Uh, it is kind of uh, Roswell's uh, version of uh, PAF uh, pickups. But on the jet guitar it is ceramic pickups. Uh, so they are probably a little bit cheaper. They sound a little bit different. So I'm going to to make a, a sound example on the bridge pickup on both these two guitars because it's the only pickups I can uh, compare. So here's uh, some short uh, sounds of these two pickups. <laughs> like the sound of, the, of both of them but I think the uh, pickups on the Harley Benton is maybe a little bit better maybe a better quality so another point for the Harley Benton on the on the pickups uh, the pots on the two guitars they are full-sized uh, I think it's called alpha pots on the Harley Benton and they are small pots on the on the jet guitar so uh, I think uh, the point goes to the Harley Benton there for for, for better pots. Then uh, let's talk about the blade switch. It feels kind of cheap on the jet guitar, but also it's because they, it is mounted on a piece of plastic, so it will sound a little hollow. But uh, yeah, it is quite clicky and uh, it's alright. Uh, feels feels great. But on the Harley Benton, because it's mounted directly on the wood, it is just a much better feeling uh, switch. So, another point for the Harley Benton. Next, and actually the, the last thing, is the knob placement. On the Harley Benton, the volume knob is a little bit too close on the, on the pickup, just like on a Strat. So it can be a little bit in the way. And uh, on the jet guitar, it is placed a little bit further away. So I like that. That's better place for my uh, fingers there. So knob placement on the jet is the winner. So that was the uh, 24 point inspection on these two guitars. Uh, and I gave a point to each. And uh, I don't know if you uh, kept uh, count on these points, but the Harley Benton got 12 points and the Jet Guitar got 12 points. <laughs> so they are equally as good <laughs> as each other. But of course it is a matter of feeling and uh, what you like. And uh, I have to admit right now I kind of enjoy the Jet Guitar most. It is just such a nice guitar to play with the uh, nine and a half uh, radius uh, fretboard and uh, better road edges on the body and uh, yeah. uh, right now this is my favorite but i love both i uh, they are great guitars at 300 euros so uh, which one would you pick let me know in the comment even though they are 300 euros both. Thank you for watching everybody. I hope you liked it. Bye bye.